Do we have any betting odds uh, circulating around the office on the Corn King, uh, who nobody knew was the Corn King before today, and who had to prepare his recipe because he's kind of winging it? He just wanted a cooking challenge, and I don't believe he's actually somebody who makes popcorn regularly. I just (laughs) think he thinks he's good at everything. He thinks he can run a six-minute mile. He thinks he can uh, kick 50-year-old field goals. 50-yard field goals. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I said cuck there. And I got scared of myself. Yeah, uh, you should have. Yes. Uh, you don't have a popcorn recipe, do you? Certainly I do. Yeah, absolutely. It's tried and true. I um, tinkered with it a little bit last night. We had a taste test involving my wife. I gave her a couple of different options. Uh, you know, do I want to use oil? Do I want to use butter? Do I want to use ghee? Prepping. Wow. It's, it's, it's pronounced ghee. Ghee is ghee. Ghee. Okay. So how did it go? It went well. Uh, she gave me uh, a preference on a certain item that I was wavering on and blah, blah, blah. You know, these are all proprietary secrets. So I'm, that's why. How I'm, confident are you? Oh, I'm quite confident. Yeah. <laughs> you always are, right? Yeah. About everything. Well, I try to be. But, you know, ever since Roy Bellamy's turkey beat my turkey. Right. You know, I've been knocked down a peg. Hmm. So now I, I have to get back up, you know. But uh, I prepare. I prepare more than the average bear. And, um, you know, I just, I, you know, we just have to get to just it. making himself laugh. Uh, yeah. The odds makers back here in the shipping container have a Dan minus 250, Greg Cody wow. plus 300. Oh, right that's now. a value wow. play right there. I don't, Man. Mean, wow. I don't mean to cut this contest off at the pass, but I have concerns about the integrity of this contest. Wow. Well. I do, too. <laughs> <laughs> How no, so? I do. Well, I mean, it's not a blind taste test, and... You know, oh, the power dynamics? Yeah, our ah, panel of judges. I understand. Right. That's fair. I mean, earlier Both today, the boss, right. I overheard Dan uh, in a coterie, uh, you know, talking about this career is, advancement and everything. This is all made and, up. This is not true yeah, I mean, in any you know, way. I'm not, I, I, can't, I can't offer someone a raise or a promotion if they vote for my yeah. pop. I mean, we can't ignore that that is the elephant in this room Thank you. at the moment. Yes. But I was talking about your attempts at espionage, mm-hmm. which I rebuffed. Wow. But I don't know if you were successful in approaching other people yeah. to get intel on on Dan's recipes. Um, I, okay, let's let's open that can. Of well, we, I, I think more context is needed because he kind of told me what he was thinking of doing, and I was like, I don't know what Dan's recipe is, but I've heard rumors of certain things, okay. and I think that might be what Dan uses. Yeah, my sole uh, uh, reason for bringing it up was to avoid overlap. Uh. Okay, the last thing I want is to have two competing popcorns Fair. that are eerily similar. That's actually a pretty good defense yeah. of yeah, your attempts of at espionage. And, and it's the truth as well. Mine, totally distinctive. It'll be like nothing you've ever tasted before. Except it'll be just like mine. No. <laughs> it, I mean, it diff- is popcorn. It's hard to... Well, first of all, it starts with the corn itself. Right. Well, and I use a you premium are, corn. You are the corn mm-hmm. king. Yeah. I, that's, Don't that's, give it away, Greg. No, no, I, I right. wouldn't. I mean, at some point, I'll reveal... That are uh, available. I'm excited but, uh, about this. You know, it starts with the corn. Yeah. Let's put it that way. This is a really good line, by the way. Dan, your, your popcorn is exceptional, and I know how much pride you take in it, and I know how you don't want anyone across you with any criticisms <laughs> whatsoever. Just so you know, I'm voting for you no matter what. There you go. Just it's the, the fix, way I like it. The fix is Just, in. I, I say that. The fix is I'm in. I'm the Putin of popcorn, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I claim now that that's it's, a catchy nickname. <laughs> the Putin of popcorn. Or it's, I claim that it's democratic, popcorn but it's Putin not. Or Putin or popcorn? It's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. Popcorn. Putin. I uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the video of Putin playing hockey, but this is what they're accusing uh, me of doing to the popcorn contest, where Putin plays hockey against a bunch of Russians and weaves yeah. between six players who are like, clearly, Isn't he clearly letting him <laughs> score. Yes, yeah. it's a, it's akin to Steven Seagal <laughs> in Steven Seagal in that martial arts competition, taking on all, <laughs> all comers. <laughs> we'll get to the pop off in a second, but uh, Chris Cody, uh, yesterday you promised. Promised us, we never got to it. Uh, but you promised. Here's the Putin video of him just scoring unchecked in the middle of the ice, much smaller than all the other players, and he scores every time he wants to because uh, he's amazing. You you promised us yesterday, though, an update to the scandalous Oktoberfest uh, bathroom bar toe that snuck out from underneath, um, you know, a public restroom. I can't lie. That's a clean finish by Putin. <laughs> really? <laughs> like the five hole. Like, 
He's got a sneaky good. I know, but finish. there wasn't there wasn't a lot of interference in front of the net, no. the yeah. kind you'd usually expect in front Look, of a goaltender. Yeah, but he went top that. shell. I, I mean. understand that, but that wrist action you cannot fake. Right. Do you think the goalie was processing? If I save this, I die. Yeah, I mean, there's I some it. of that. Yes. Half that team fell out a window after the game. <laughs> Chris Cody, what is the update that you're promising us? Uh, for those of you who do not remember his uh, what is alleged to be his famed Oktoberfest toe, uh, Chris Cody has since retracted that this is his foot. It is not his foot. I mean, my foot is clearly in this picture here. You can see my knee. I'm taking it. And this guy's foot came into my <laughs> stall, and I took and I did what one would do in that moment. I took a photo of it and I showed it on air, thinking, <laughs> "What are the odds that this guy, if like he ever sees this, like what's he gonna sue me? Hey, that's my foot." So I'm at the Panthers game the other night with a buddy, and as I'm walking by somebody, some guy just goes, "Hey, that was my foot at Oktoberfest." <laughs> no and my instant reaction is, that's hilarious. That's a good, like, listener of the show. That's good just, call back. Yeah, like, that's hilarious. And he goes, no, seriously, I'll DM you. And I, and, I, and I have this moment where I walk back away <laughs> with my friend. I'm a little scared because the guy, he, he kind of was smiling, but he had a look like I'll punch you in the face. Okay. So I was like, I should, if, if that's really him, I should go back there and get a video of him. And for the sh I'm like, got my mind into, like, content mode. And I'm like, maybe he's messing with me. But if it's true, he'll DM me. So I just kind of like went about my business, and I'm like, all right, maybe this guy will DM me. Next thing I know, I get a DM, and he's basically like, it's me. And he shows me a screenshot of his Oktoberfest ticket on the same day I was there. Not proof yet that, that it's his well, foot. Well, all he's got to do is send you his foot. That's yeah. Dan. I'm a, I'm a journalist. I respond yeah. to him. I need to see you? the toe for me to believe it was <laughs> oh, no. you. Now it's like creepy, yes. the creepiest possible sliding feet, into the DMs. And foot, he, foot, 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 foot. And he responds to me, as much as I want to send feet pics to men over the internet, I'm going to pass it pass at this time. Wow. No, here's that's, the not, pr here's, that's not proof. Here's no. the next best thing. And he sent me a picture of his sandal, of the sandal that is in that stall. So I, as far as I know... The guy is a list. He's like big fan of the show. What are the odds that the guy that I did this to six months later <laughs> is like, hey, right. it's me. I've got a number of questions. So this guy's personal moral compass on how far <laughs> he's willing to go. He's got no problem telling you to your face. I'm the person so inconsiderate that I sprawl out when and stick my feet I get wide. in other people's stalls. Proud I have no it. problem yes. admitting that. <laughs> I will prove it to you with a ticket stub and a flip-flop. What I will not do. Here's where I draw what, the line. What I will not do is show you what would be the ultimate proof, which is an identical foot with a crooked second toe. Yeah. I will not Terrible. send that to a man. Perhaps you should give him your wife's um, DM. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. Now you do yeah. it. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, absolutely Why don't you FaceTime yeah. him or toe time him? Now, can we put the foot back up there? Because in the can, way. Uh, do we have to? The way that I. Took this in the first time. To me, that's a Hispanic foot. <laughs> really? Whoa. To me, I mean, what Whoa. am I? Am I what are you Whoa. doing Whoa. there? No, I'm just saying, it's just like the, the tone. Like that. Most my foot is pale. And like that's a tan. Like I don't know. Like, that second toe is part of a means hand on the follow through. Yeah. The second toe is really crooked. And the only reason I bring up that I this guy couldn't I mean, have it been. Looked like, it looked like a white foot to me. This uh, okay maybe. This does this look like a white foot to me. Yeah, I mean, the, the great yeah. toe is beautiful, yeah. and the other four toes are You know are how I know that's a white foot? Because it's wearing thong flip-flops at an Oktoberfest. Bingo. That's how I know it's that a white foot. That is a telltale foot. sign. <laughs> that is a telltale sign. Well, the guy I never once considered it was anything but a white foot, <laughs> considering the context. The guy couldn't have been whiter. Is that second toe digging into the ground for maximum leverage on whatever it is that's happening inside that stall? Been there. It is the uh, broken. Just so you know, it's a, it, we're approaching the 20th anniversary of this show. Could you message this gentleman and find out if he's open to an activation <laughs> in which we bring listeners into a stall and they can sit down and experience it live and in person yeah. for themselves? Part of our many, uh, part of all of our planning that's yeah. going to go into our 20 year anniversary where we bring in just an assortment yeah. of, of, of well, circus oddity. I've been workshopping. I should probably talk to you about it. Do we want to do a lot of little ones or maybe one big one? But either way, 
this toe has to be a part of it. I think I oh, want man. it to be as weird as possible. Did, what Highly did you say? a movie co and waiting for you in one inside. Well, tell <laughs> inside one of those souls is that foot. Greg, what did you say? Toe what? Well, Toe Man is the nickname I've just developed for him. Greg, your nicknames today have been really terrible. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, sometimes you don't want to think too hard. Greg Brackets? I mean, come Greg on. Greg Brackett, Toe Man. <laughs> Outside of Putin a popcorn, right our, nickname, <laughs> our nickname game is lacking. Because Toe Man lends itself to a Batman-like sing-along. Toe Man. Toe Man. little music in the background. You got a song. Bam. All right. After this like foot that. segment, let's eat some popcorn. What would Toe Man's powers be? I'm in the be? mood. Uh, <laughs> he can fly. <laughs> he wiggled. He's, my dad used to always say if he could wiggle his ears, he could fly because his ears were so big. And it would be a similar thing with Toe Man. You know, if that guy starts going like this, all of a sudden... Mm-hmm. This is a new and an improved Dan Levitar show with the Stugats. Gamble on by DraftKings. The pop-off has begun. Greg Cody is with me in studio. Dan is up at the, uh, he's in a hotel room somewhere. He is, he looks very comfortable in a kitchen. He really does. He has started the process of making his popcorn. Greg, you've been observing what Dan is doing. What are your thoughts so far? Well, I think he is going to get and deserves some credit for doing it old school. Doing it old school. He's not, I'm using a microwave without apology. Mm-hmm. But I will get some points deducted by people who prefer the old school method. So we'll see if I can overcome that. All right. So, Dan, again, he's in the hotel. He's in a room. He is in the kitchen. He is currently making popcorn. Let's go up to Dan. And uh, he's holding something up. I have no idea. It seems like a secret ingredient. Let's go to Levitard and find out. I am uh, hidden away at a secret location, 46 floors <laughs> above the earth. I have an assortment of different ingredients. I will say, though, there is something of a strategic advantage that Cody now has that might resemble a- excuse-making by me, but I have two things at play that are uh, I was not expecting. First of all, this stove is not something I've worked on before, and I'm not sure about the heating levels. And then more <laughs> disastrously... Uh. I, I I have forgotten an ingredient at home. I have an ingredient at oh home boy. that's missing. I was horrified. Oh yeah, I was horrified to look. At, yeah, it, I left it on my oven at home. Uh, on How important home, is rather. this ingredient, yeah. though? In, in terms of all your ingredients, I, I, where would you list this one? It's it's the least important, okay. but it's a connector. It's an important connector. Oh, wow. So uh, this is... Excuse machine. I can machine. hear the sizzling, though. Uh, no, uh, fair enough. Fair commentary by you guys, but I think I'm still going to win because microwave popcorn. How good does that smell? Oh my God, this smells good. I know you can't I don't smell know. it there, but I've got we've, we've got a team of people here. They're nodding because it smells good already. We can't smell it down here. What's it smell like? Popcorn? I gathered. I gathered. It smells a lot like a, a gourmet popcorn. Delicious popcorn. Yes. Very concerned about this missing ingredient that is quote a connector. We're, we got to play it as it lies, though. Me Dan, too. This Dan is just the moved one to 115 in my book. Yeah, a lot of late action. <laughs> Minus 115, <laughs> the corn king. What was Cody before the pop off? Plus 300. It's great actually value. moving down right wow, now. Wow, great value. You're the favorite. Plus, you go second. Live betting odds. Yeah. <laughs> the bets are rolling in for me. That's why the line's changing. Uh, Dan, do you feel like I have time to do top five people in sports that can have popcorn while you're uh, making your popcorn? I think you do because I have not gotten a single pop yet, and I've been up here seven minutes. Uh, As I connector. said, I'm dealing yeah. with a, a bo- no. That's not the connector excuse. That's a Baki. <laughs> st- that's a Baki stove excuse. It's a whole. It's a whole different set of excuses. Yeah, that's the why you're supposed to use the microwave. Is important one. <laughs> this doesn't happen with microwaves. Yours right. will be done microwaves in a minute. We're getting down to minus one ten, minus one ten, real quick. We got a pickup line. Yes. I mean, listen, there's nothing worse than missing a connector when you're cooking. I mean. <laughs> in, in, unless your missing ingredient is the popcorn itself, I don't want to hear any more excuses. Get his ass, Greg. Greg, Greg. Uh, Greg Cody, you sound just as bad 46 stories up as you did when I was sitting next to oh, you. This is getting personal. Just as wheezy. <laughs> wow. This is Jeez. quite the pop-off. Wow. Not his fault. You forgot your connector. <laughs> connector. Stop lashing out. Connector. I mean, <laughs> most people call it's, it salt. It's awful. <laughs> All right. Top five athletes in sports that connote popcorn. OLI. Colonel Reb. 
<laughs> mascot for the Mississippi Rebels. <laughs> Don't know how I feel about that mascot. <laughs> Oil Cam Boyd. I know I feel. <laughs> Dottie Pepper. Is that popcorn I hear? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do you mean? That's not popcorn. Pepper on popcorn? What do you mean, Donnie Pepper? Wait, who puts pepper on popcorn? A lot of people do, Dan. Yeah. Might be a connector, do as they? some would say. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give it away, Greg. Oh, no. All right, number five, Butterbean. Number four, Lisa Salter. There's an S in the There's an S in the Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry to Lisa. It's like giraffe, giraffe, giraffes. <laughs> yeah, it goes either way. Number three, Tubby Smith. I, sorry, I just hear popcorn. That's why I got, I got distracted there. <laughs> Look at that thing. Look at that popcorn go, Dano. Number two, Greg Popovich. <laughs> and number one, Corn Elder. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I hear popcorn, Dan. I mean, this is exciting. Uh, you do. Uh, yeah. Chris, Chris Cody, I need, if you don't mind, can you get me the filibuster, please, real quick, of the Corn Elder uh, call of Mike Ryan on the Duke-Miami game? Just because I need a few more minutes of popping here because i got to get these temperatures right. I don't know if you can find that for me and if I can produce the show 46 stories up in the air at a secret location or not. I will say this. A new stove is always a tricky game, a dangerous game at that. So... You're cranking up the excuse machine, but I understand why. I mean, oh, Ooh, that's that. nice. That yeah. is so nice. That's a good visual. Oh, yeah. live line. Yeah. Back All down right. to minus 150 for Dan. That bruises the popcorn when it hits the, the <laughs> lid. <there. laughs> oh, Greg Corny. Spraying a lot of stuff in there, Greg. <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. that hairspray? What do you got in there? <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this. It is. It's one of the secret in ingredients is hairspray. Yes. Uh, put it on the poll, please, Juju, at Levitard Show. Does anyone put pepper on their popcorn? Or hairspray. <laughs> because I believe... Oh, this is good right here. Oh, my God. Is this good right here? Don't over-season it. Yeah, Christ it's too almighty. much, Dan. Yeah, what are you doing? Oh, he wants no. flavor. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 don't tell me how to do this. Okay. Don't over. I don't need. I, I know you guys think you can know you know how to do everything and you can run a six minute mile yeah. and you can kick 50 yard field goals. Don't need your advice over here. I'm we'll just see fine. About that. This is you. the don't weirdest wrestling it. promo. Of all time. I'm not the one who forgot over a connector. <laughs> 27 24, squib kick. Just fall down on it or whatever. No, they're going to try the lateral. Pass it to the other side of the field. This never works. Caught by Corn Elder. Pitches it back to Jaquan Johnson at the Miami 30. Delaying the inevitable. Looking for a block. Pitches it backwards. As many laterals now as BS pass interference penalties on that last drive. Walton now pitches it back to Johnson. Guess we're going to keep going with this. Toss it back. Here comes another pitch. Corn Elder has it. Throws it back to the Plumbers 911 goal line. Dallas Crawford looking for a block. Gets one. Definitely not a block in the back. He throws it across to the 30 to Corn Elder. Big legal block. He's got it to the 40. Corn Elder crossing El Palacio de los Hugos midfield. Corn Elder speeding now to the 40. Speeding ticket. FakeHoward.com. Hold on now. Dashing down the Dandy Bear sideline. So what? Your kid has ringworm. Dandy Bear. Elder inside the Gus Machado red zone. Corn Elder. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. Lindy. Eric. Scotty. Mike. Miami. Sequarium. Touchdown. Presently, no flags on the field, and certainly no one will have a problem with how this game ended. Yeah. Oh, wait, we don't speak English, so everyone hates us. I hear something new every time I, I listen to that, That's and I brilliant. laugh at something new every time brilliant. I listen to that. Ringworm is what got me that time. Why do you keep spraying your popcorn? popcorn. I have popcorn. No, I'm not giving away any of the secrets. I'm ready to come back down, though. I have wow. popcorn all over the floor here. Hmm. I think I haven't tried it yet. Uh, John Reed, you want to stick your hand in here? <laughs> you want your hand? Come on, John Reed. Whoa, 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 okay. whoa, 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 John Reed. Whoa. 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 One finger. All right. You said stick the hand in that I mean, right. to mix it all up. 
All right, I'm bringing it down now. I'm All coming right, down right now. You guys ready for this? Oh, it's we are magical. Board ready, ready Dan. Yeah, it took you long enough. I when mean, we just... come back, Greg Cody will do his. We've got a handful of disasters going on. I've just walked into a room where Chris Cody is infuriated with his dad, and I saw uh, Stugatz chewing popcorn when I came in. <laughs> what? Which I, I don't think is the way we were supposed to do this. So, uh, and, and incidentally, I left the mess 46 floors upstairs because uh, the, uh, the stove uh, burnt into one of the plastics that I was oh, holding I things in. Oh, no. so, the bottom, oh. so the bottom of the popcorn fell out. Jeez. Uh, Chris, what happened with your father before we go to Jerry Seinfeld, Mexican Jerry Seinfeld in the kitchen? <laughs> what happened was is I'm annoyed because the whole point of this is the audience seeing the making of the popcorn, and he, I'm pretty sure he's already made the popcorn. We didn't get any of the popping sounds that we got with you. Let's We can go to him now. Greg, the popcorn's already made? Um, some of it. Uh, it's popping. <laughs> You'll hear the popping in about 30 seconds. <laughs> oh, you're making multiple bags. Yeah. Okay. Micro uh, microwave popcorn is how you're making it, and you're just sprinkling some seasoning on it. So are you telling us any of your secret ingredients? Sure. I can. Uh, they're not secret. They're visible. I'm using um, Blue Jewel popcorn, which is the best. Hmm. I'm using um, Irish butter, which is the best. I'm using um, kosher salt. I'm falling asleep Lemon as I'm pepper, saying it. Which is the best. Which is the best. <laughs> and uh, very, very and Parmesan, grated Parmesan Ooh, cheese. Which, which is, is the, the best. best. I mean, grated. put it on the poll, please, Juju. Is grated Parmesan cheese the best? Yes or no? You're I nervous. My, I, finally, <laughs> I finally wrapped my head around who Tony reminds me of today. He looks like John Stossel like this. Wow. wow. That's a great reference there. Old uh, old 2020 episodes. Uh, sort of. He was sort of uh, Geraldo Rivera light without the politics. Yeah. He uh, got slapped in the face by a wrestler for exposing the business in yeah. 2020. It was a famous thing. You also, Tony, somehow look like you're straight out of a Beastie Boys sabotage video as well, uh, somehow. So everything but Seinfeld, then. That, well, you don't, yeah. look, you, right. you don't look anything like Seinfeld. How are we doing the taste test parts of this? Who are the judges and where are we on feeling you didn't do this again where it's four judges and we're going to need a tiebreaker, are yeah. you? Yes. Well, it's, Roy can't eat today. Okay, I had five. In my mind, it was going to be me Tony, Roy, Mike, and Stugatz. Boom, five, best out of five, but right. Roy is fasting five right now. Five totally impartial oh. judges. Hmm. So we're going to do what we did last time. If it is split after the four of us, we'll go to Coogs. Okay, and uh, I, I do really feel like there, there's something Coogs. cheap about going to the microwave. I mean, for this, not choosing right? Greg. This is, yeah, this is my doing microwaving the popcorn is barely trying. Like it's not really trying. I mean, you guys have talked a lot of junk about each other. I'm really surprised at how hostile this has all become. I I'm got, also not at all surprised that you screwed up on the stove and and burnt the plastic receptacle. Now, have we, Dad? Have you started seasoning yet? Because this is your second bag of popcorn you're throwing on there. This is the third, and uh, we're seasoning as we speak. Oh, nice. Oh, is that some melted Irish butter there? You're yes. drizzling? Mm -hmm. Nice. Dan, I'm kind of a fan of a lack of effort when it comes to popcorn, just in, out, and in my mouth. You, you know could have saying? ended that sentence a few words early by just saying you're a fan of a lack of effort. <laughs> <laughs> then you, we wouldn't um, have gotten in, out, inside my mouth. Right. Hey -yo! Sometimes you over-prepare the popcorn and you think too much, and it's not as good as you want it well, to be. I, I, I mean, will tell you that one of the things that makes me nervous here is that I'm always making my popcorn to be a healthy popcorn. So oh, I can't uh, use uh, cheese and popcorn. You I, lose. I can't use, I'm not, I'm at the disadvantage of I can't use cheese and butter. Those are not among my ingredients. What are you uh, spreading right now, Dad? What is that? That, that was lemon pepper. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, all right. And now I'll what? this man out. And now what? Cheese, parm. Which is the best. His connector. It's pretty good, but it's not a connector. Right. So what were you, you were spraying something that was top secret, but you you that was a healthy amount of spray yeah, that do you we were have, putting on there. I, that I'm, didn't look super healthy. It I'm is. being told we have B-roll of Dan putting a crazy amount of seasoning on his food. It's not uh, it's not necessarily seasoning. Uh, it's uh, that is the seasoning. Yes, that's not crazy. That in fact, it was too light by the time. You're still it, going. It was yeah. too light. Yeah, it was Jesus. too light because it goes five more seconds. Yes. <laughs> My God. Yes, it, it's drowned in it. That's correct. That's exactly how you do it. Huh. I've got it. It's ready for anyone who wants to try it. I would. I would like Thanks, to try Dan. it. But are we going to do the, uh, the? Yeah, we have to do. Yeah. Is together. there more right. pomp and circumstance to this, or you're just going to put it in my mouth? I. Uh, circumstance. Uh, let's hey, bring yo. one of these bags in here. Uh, let's take both of the bags. You guys do this however it is that you want to do this. Well, yeah. That's the same batch because the colors look a little off. They do. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, do you keep that one? Okay, I'll keep this. 
A lot of stuff in here. Let's, uh, before we start tasting, though, let's go back out to my dad. Dad, are you doing your finishing touches? Where are we in your process? We are just about done. It's going to be ready to taste. All right, maybe put it into two different bowls so we can get one in here in our room and then bring one into it in there we with Dan. We didn't save any money on the cutlery there, huh? We went with the fine <laughs> china there. <laughs> Wow, these <laughs> these seem like really bold flavors. I'm gonna need a palate cleanser in between tastes. Yeah, some we're gonna need some cups of water if we could, folks. A little moose bouche. A little moose bouche. <laughs> we'll look at Greg. I don't know, man. I'm trying. All right, so, know. do we want to change the odds? Looking at Dan, seeing what my dad's done. Like, what do we think? No here? connector. I mean, I, new <laughs> stove. This is a pick 'em line. Minus one ten. It has it has Collect tightened up. Juice. I think it has tightened up a little bit. I mean, I've made a ton of excuses, so I have already. I uh, and and on top of everything else, I can't tell you when I was cleaning up the burnt plastic. I'm like, man, this is what choking would look like at the height of what sports feels like. <laughs> this is this is. I am choking. So I what happened looked, there? You just rested a plate on a, on a on a stove that was I'm, on. I'm using a stove I have never used before, and I had and and the gadgetry is a a little bit confusing. It's got a lot of protective and plastic devices around it. <laughs> it's referred to as stove as gadgetry. It was. Yeah. It was I, I, if I showed it to you, there was a single, a double, a triple, and I'm like, what the hell is this? Like, okay. what? Why? Why? What, why Just am I going? Knob. Why I'll am take, I going, I'll take your word for why it. Why am I going triple the heat on this? I don't need triple the heat on this. Wow. Now my dad is spooning the popcorn wow. into separate bowls for wow. each of us. Wow. Presentation. He yep. gets. He yes. gets the win here. The presentation <laughs> is winning. No doubt. You just I got my own dish. You I just mean. handed people like two bags. <laughs> Ziploc bag. I didn't know that there was a presentation element to I this. Mean, it's a contest. It's I a pop know. off. I did. This was all taste, not Top Chef. It's Who not won? superficial. It's just Who taste. Won? It's just give me I mean, gourmet I'm not taste. Discount, I'm not going to discount the presentation just I'm because you. you did, sir. Yeah. Well, I can go out there and present you it. Can, but you did. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you tried to, right. and you burnt the plastic. <laughs> I didn't know this was a beauty contest. I thought it was a personality contest. You choked. I did I'm choke. with Dan. This is not. There's no visual here. Whatever's in my mouth, that's what I'm judging. Well, I'm. Ah. It, it's like telling the jury there to you. just disregard what you just heard. Like they can say yeah, but in the back of their minds. <laughs> All right, I am. Uh, I am ready to be All tasted. Right, come back wow. into the studio. I don't think we're gonna need coogs. I gotta. They're be honest, bringing in so. a bunch of water here for us. So Stugatz has already decided where his vote is going because he's already <laughs> eaten Greg Cody's popcorn before he what? even seasoned it. Like this is the thing. Stugatz just went in there and ate a plain microwave popcorn, and that's what he's gonna vote for. Like with no seasoning, just something, just Orville Redenbacher's thrown in the microwave for ninety seconds. It was delicious. <laughs> all right. I guess now we all just kind of oh, dig in. Okay. All right. But where's how, Greg Cody? Greg well, Cody on, back no. in the studio. We can't just dig in. We have to do this. We try Dan's first. We try Greg second. Right? Okay. Yep. Because right. Dan's has been made longer. We don't want it to get stale. So right. we'll go to Dan's first. Roy, how uh, how long have you been fasting? Uh, this is a three day fast. This is the final day, which is pretty funny. So does this hurt? Now. Does this hurt? The smell of popcorn? Is it hurting you? My stomach hurts right now. Yes. Yes. I'm very hungry. Wow. Okay. Uh, okay. Can I try? I'm not one of Thank the voters, you, so I'd like to try Greg Cody's popcorn. It has like 17 ingredients you allege that you're allergic to. I will admit, and remember, I said I'm only going to judge on what's in my mouth. Dan's looks better. My dad's is like really white. Dan's got a nice tan to it. Presentation? Yeah, I'm just saying, based off the look, not the, I mean, the presentation is nicer for my dad because he's got a nice little dish for that. So. All right, Mike, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, we're trying Dan's first. Yeah. Dan's Which first. Is, well, uh, Greg's is good. Oh. It's buttery and cheesy, but I'm not allowed butter and cheese. So, like, I'm... Excuse making. Cheater. Yeah. No, he's I'm not just, allowed I, it, but he's got to finish I, that cup. I, what I'm saying is that... Um, when I'm not allowed it, I'm going to have a bad reaction to how oh. wonderful that tastes. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Dan's uh, I'm, I'm having, having Dan's. This is a classic. One of my favorite popcorns on the planet. Some saying my favorite. Better than the other night, too. Better than Oscar night. Yeah. It tastes yeah. really good right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got to tell you, if you are missing a connector, I can't pinpoint it. Mm -hmm. It does seem distant from each other, each kernel. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay, but how? <laughs> instead of just chewing and, and are we, do we have some order to who's voting, how's voting? Everyone's well, eating I, at the same time. Are they all? Are all of you eating we're my all eating, popcorn? We're all right eating now? We're all eating you right yeah. now. Right, right. right. Yeah. Greg's is good. I'm we've the got, only one. We've got I'm, you in our mouths right now. Yeah. You're voting for Greg. I mean, I'm I have, marinating on you. I'm savoring I'm, your uh, flavor, your Daddy. It's good. I'm just sitting here. It's got a little kick to it too. Like my eyes are watering up a little oh. bit. Um, uh, I mean, why? You've never revealed this publicly, but I'm certain there's like some coconut oil element to this. It's incredible. Yeah. Oh, that I might, that want... might have been the binder that he's missing. No. Connector. A, connector. That fine. connector. Yeah. 
If that's a connector, that's in there. That's great. I, I love that. Great. I love that popcorn. I'm ready for Greg. Do we all feel like we have you, it? You, sir, know how to make popcorn. Mm. All right. Uh, but wait a minute. Are we going to get – who? I, I just want to cover again because we want – dramatic buildup in order for this to get the payoff. I uh, have uh, the palate cleanser coffee grounds right here. Ooh, the nice. voters <laughs> are, again, Chris Cody, the voters are... Stu Gatz, me, Mike Ryan, Tony. That's four of us. If we are split, we go to Cougs. Okay, so right now... You're uh, rooting for a split. You want Cougs. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident in my popcorn, but as the only one who has tasted Greg's, I will tell you that his has a moistness that mine does not. It's got a, a buttery aftertaste that uh, feels like you're just uh, slurping sauce. And Whoa! If, if you like Don't talk that, about it. Be about it. I'm eating it. How it, is it that the one guy that wasn't doing a thing had the most suggestive <laughs> sentence on the air? All right, we are moving on to Greg's popcorn. Corn. All right. Everyone put Greg okay. in your mouth. Greg, how do you feel about uh, your popcorn right now? How do you feel about the batch you made? Um, Delightful. I've had more of yours than I've had of my own. Mm. Um, you finished mine. Greg I Greg, did. Greg crushed my popcorn. Yeah. Wow, crushed it. Yeah, this lemon a, pepper? I have a critique, but... Um, oh, okay. This is good, Greg. This is really good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I, oh, wow. I think the flavor was I excellent. Think. I think you did over-season for me. Mm. Mm. The cheese in yours, Greg. Mm. The lemon's a little... Too, it bites a little too much, though. I don't know if mm. I love the lemon pepper in here. Part. Yeah, but I like that part. Yeah. Mm. I'm Latino. I love mm. that. Do it more. Mm -hmm. I'm nervous. Mm. Well, I, I know who I'm voting for. Me too. Well, okay. I know who you're voting for. Like, I, I, you didn't even have to taste the popcorn. I think I need to go back I know which way advanced. you're voting. I know. I, no, I, no, never I know. know. I do know. When Greg Cody's here, you always side with him. <laughs> I do. I do know, though. It's the only consistent thing about the two of you. Well, I, no, that there, it is masters, missing. I mean. It is missing a little something by being a microwave batch of a uh, popcorn. Hmm. I uh, I would argue that that is uh, uh, cheap in a way that prevents it from being gourmet. You're Throw, a true just, artist. Just throwing it into the microwave. Wow. Mm -hmm. How about the fact that my uh, Black Jewel gourmet popcorn? Is uh, ha is virtually hull free. Really? Well, yeah, it's it's a hullless popcorn. Wow! Hmm. They can't call it hullless because if you if you I know what you mean by that, but Chris doesn't. Can you explain it to him? I mean, you know the the thank the, you for asking, Mike. The hull is the 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 portion of the popped corn that you really don't want to eat. The the one that gets stuck in your teeth and you know what's it called? The hull. Oh, yeah, like bread, like yeah, Bobby like corn. Popcorn hull. He just, uh, you may not have noticed this about Stugatz. He only asks the question so he can do the like Bobby thing. Bobby he hull. doesn't actually yeah, care it. what your answer yeah. is. He's just trying to. Diet sports, he, like he, you know, it's popcorn. He could have won bread hull. I mean, <laughs> that would have been a John Sossel is the youngest popcorn to yeah. reference. <laughs> Where were you three hours ago I when I asked you? I mean, mm. He I, missed. I've, I've gone back to Dan's popcorn. I am finishing this. He missed the timing on when the joke would have worked best, so he asks you to repeat it so that he can then do the thing. Well, it's a clarification. And that too. No, it's just not. To make sure not, I heard it correctly. It's not a clarification. <laughs> you just missed your window and you circled back around because you wanted to make a Bobby Hall joke. Man, you know I love me. this popcorn. Mm. All right, Stugatz. Stugatz votes for Greg Cody. Why Tony, for Tony, who do you vote for? Hold on. This is tough. No, it's done. I don't. I don't need to hear. You could turn off his microphone. It doesn't I didn't matter. Hear I don't you hear it. Vote first. You first. Wait, I'm voting first. I'll go first. Okay, uh, go Stugatz has voted. He's for voted the, for Greg Cody. For the record, said, Chris Chris is related to Greg. I'm voting for Dan. Hmm. I'm, I'm being honest. It's just the taste. I It's it's what I would go back. I, I just did. I, I closed my eyes. I said, if I was at a, a movie right now, which of these would I want to have? Your for the father movie? is so pissed at you. The way that he stared at you was a look of parental disapproving. No. I haven't seen from him at you since you were seven years old. <laughs> the lemon just was a little. I don't know. I, I generally love lemon pepper, but I didn't love it on popcorn. Mm. So it's one to one. Uh, Stugat. I, I don't yet. need to hear Stugatz from Stugat. Has Stugatz. not voted. I don't. Right. He has I want to hear everyone's vote specifically. He, I'm telling you how Stugat is Who's going next? to vote. Tony. So guys, I'm <clears throat> I'm a little torn. Me and Mike back here, very distinguished popcorn uh, con enthusiasts. It's not and true. Mm -hmm. We're looking at certain things, right? Yep. Dan's Dan's popcorn seasoned beautifully. It's there's no much there's no such thing as too much season, mm -hmm. right? Dan seasoned it perfectly. What I like is that there's remnants of the seasoning oh, yeah. in my cup, oh, yeah. which no, which you can oh, dab yeah. it in there. Yes. Locked yeah. in. Yes. Yeah, we're locked yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. I love the, the hungry man. Yeah. I love the I love flavoring it. of Greg's popcorn oh, though. Not as really much good. seasoning. As I would have wanted. I want more lemon pepper dust on my fingers than anything else. Whoa. 
I think oh, I'm, I, I'm going to go Dan. Oh, wow. Could Greg Cody go 0-2 in cooking contests? <laughs> Looks like it. He's going to be mad at you. <laughs> like, he's going to bring this home. He is gonna, he's going to take you out of his will. He had your vote locked in. Yours in Stugatz's. He was hoping to get to a to a Kugler vote. And look Bad at day him. for Billy he, not he, to be here for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I made the schedule this week in order to... In order to damper the jury In order to rig the contest. It was just punishment for what he did to our tournament yesterday. Mike Ryan, would you like to cast a surprising vote in the other direction so that we can send it to Coogs, Coogs and make it more dramatic. I do feel all this pressure to make it more dramatic right now. It's only now. two nothing. I right. still have a chance. Exactly. Yeah, two exactly. one. You have Stugatz's vote. It's two Stugatz one. Stugatz hasn't yeah. voted yet. Voted. Two one. <laughs> two one. <laughs> Until two I hear one. his vote, he hasn't voted. Okay. Uh, Stugatz, what's your vote? Did Mike vote yet? No, you go ahead. No, you go first. No, I don't, Mike no. already voted. Oh, yeah. He hasn't voted. Oh. He hasn't voted. Somebody vote. It's 1-1 one, one right now? It's 2-1. Two, two, one. Two, two, one. Two, one. It's 2 nothing. It's 2-1 two, one with yours. It's 2 nothing. who? <laughs> Mike, what's your vote? I'm I'm really sorry. I'm going to take the drama out of this. Yes. No. I'm, I'm going with Dan. Oh. oh. It's, Three it's no. the best popcorn, and he is my boss. Wow. <laughs> I, I vote Dan, too. Right. Oh, it's a sweep. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, no. You gave, oh, it, you gave it a no. run, kid. Wow. Should we go to Coogs? <laughs> you gave it a run. Yeah, the go to money Coogs. Ball. Make it five. The nothing. money ball with Coogs. <laughs> you, <is> five. <laughs> he, your dad is so mad right now, Chris. It, you gave it a hell of a ride, man. I'm going to go get more. It's just yeah, the seasoning. I'm, I needed more seasoning. I'm having yours right now, but I put Dan's seasoning on top of it. <laughs> Oh, for two. He's so mad at me. And that's without the connector. I would have. I, I don't. How much would I have oh. won by if I had oh. used the connector? I don't even want to know, damn. Your popcorn is just so good. Please, more money, please. I love you, more, Dad. More money for me, please. 